Welcome back to the channel, Lovely Life Mallorca. I'm Andrew, and today I brought you just to a little place just on the outskirts of Acudia. This is Playa de Muro. Welcome, let's have a little look around. So in front of me, that is Playa de Muro. And you always know when you get there, because you've passed the hook, the fishing hook. Down there, you've got a few bars plus the beach. And I've come behind me, now this is the way to Acudia. So come on then, let's crack on with a walk. Now it does seem to be picking up a little bit now. We've got a few more tourist shops and bars and different things like that opening, which does make it a lot more appealing, I think. Especially when you're looking around the place. Now Play to Muro is another lovely little um, tourist place with lots of hotels restaurants, tourist shops and that sort of thing here. And the, the beach is um, delightful. It's the same damn beach that you can walk down to Acudia, or if you go the other way, you can walk up to um, Camp Pickerfoot. Now I've taken the first, first right here, because around the back is a load of hotels and different things. You are very close to everything here. It doesn't really matter where you're staying. Everywhere is only about a 15 minute walk to the shops, to the beach, all that sort of thing. But there's plenty of supermarkets, restaurants and around every corner. Again, we meet the canal or one of them. And that is obviously the same canal as what you see in the Bellevue complex, that sort of area. I can just see the Bellevue in the distance there. So I was saying you're never that far away from restaurants, shops, there's a spa shop over there and different things. And all these are hotels and holiday apartments around here. But I've said so often now, you're never far away from the SOS sign, are you? If you do stay around here, I would highly recommend you bring some mosquito spray with you. I'll just quickly talk to you about hospitals. Um, we've got several hospitals around Mallorca. Some of them are private. You will be charged. Please make sure if your insurance covers you and what it covers you for. There are some three hospitals up here so if you call a taxi you know if needs must please make sure that the taxi is taking you to one of the three hospitals not one that you're going to be charged a lot of money for this one in front of us this is a private hospital so just keep that in mind if if you need one hopefully you won't but just keep it in your mind I just wondered to myself how many of these hotels will, op will actually open this year. We've got lots here, haven't we? This, the apartments, the villas, the hotels, the list goes on. The actual island is dependent on holiday makers. Let's hope we get some. And of course, on a normal season, you get the mini train, which you can pick up any way along the route. And just here also you've got a, a mini golf. It's incredible, I've just walked around the whole of this area with various hotels and everything around, and I haven't seen hardly anybody. It's, it's incredible how quiet it really is just around this park. So I've just shown you over the, the lake here. As I was saying to you earlier, if you do come here, it's, 
it's a very wise idea to bring lots and lots of mosquito stuff, candles and sprays and anything else you choose like that. So we've got a lovely pirates themed boat there in the middle of the water swimming pool thing. So just on my left here, this is the first hotel I've seen open here. There's plenty of people outside enjoying themselves, enjoy, enjoying this lovely heat we've got. And it's a beautiful hot day as well. So I, so I can just think to myself, in the season, this little area here would be very, very busy, wouldn't it, with all these hotels here. With this one here, all still whitewashed. It does look very sad, doesn't it? To think this whole area here. So this little loop as he goes round this side of the few hotels. I can't believe how quiet it's just been round here. Let's go and have a look up Muro, it's in the, um, the main part and the beach and see if that's any busier. Yeah, it's only just when you walk of the beaten track as it were, and have a little look around the corners, you actually do see what really has happened with the virus, can't you? How it has, how it has affected the island as a whole. So I'll come back up to the main road, to the roundabout with the um, deck chair on. If I carry on straight, I'd end up at the beach there's a few restaurants and bars and things down there, but I'm going to be taking the right hand side here to see what's open. This is the way if you carried on going, you would end up at Camp Pickerford. But this is the local, main local area if you like, just up here. You'll find all your local shops up here you could need for your stay up this way there's some gorgeous hotels up here so I was saying earlier there are lots and lots of um, cycling places around here to rent bicycles of any kind I would highly recommend the electric the e-bikes as it does take the hard work out the cycling doesn't it you will find open tourist places here, as I'm saying. It seems such a shame there's not a soul in that shop. Plenty of closed places still about. I wonder if places will open this year, the majority. like this, it's looking positive isn't it, because the tables and chairs are already in there, too open at a moment's notice. Plenty of chairs along here to sit down and relax. Normally this is really happening, if you like what I mean, along here, it's normally so busy especially around this time of the year with people enjoying themselves and things and again there's plenty of places to chain your bicycle up and this bar's just opened this wasn't open the other day, so it's, as I said, it's, it's only little things are happening, but hopefully that's going the right way forward, isn't it? The thing that does really worry me is if this place, or even the island, doesn't make sufficient money to survive, 
there's going to be a lot of places that won't be able to open the gates anymore, will they? They will be shut. And it's going to be a bit like a Donimo effect, isn't it? When the shops start closing, people stop coming, people stop coming, more shops close. It just keeps on, keeps on going around in that Fisher circle, doesn't it? Look at that, you can get a COVID test here in 15 minutes. As I was saying, the bicycles are a very big part over here. Now I'm getting away from the roadworks a little bit further. The, um, the shops and cafes are open, aren't they? But again, there's hardly anybody around. Is there a few people walking around? Now this is one of the busiest restaurants, I think, Willie's here. It always has a queue of people getting in. It's a bit like a wimpy, if you remember the wimpies back in England, burgers, hot dogs and that sort of thing. Lovely when they wave. <laughs> So this is the shopping area done, then there's one more restaurant down the end that they've done up quite well over the last few months and made it look really nice. That's the corner one, just by the roundabout, we'll be passing this second. But this is the, the end of the shopping area if you like. So it's, it's quite nice isn't it, as it were. Be nice when they finish the roadworks and the other shops can finally open and have a chance. But I just hope the shops, hotels and that sort of thing can actually um, afford to ride it. Because it has been a hard year for everybody, hasn't it? No matter what business you're in, it's been hard. Just going down the little wooden hill now towards the beach itself. If I go to the right here, I'm in Camp Pickerford. Got to look at that, isn't that really busy? God, I can't believe how many people are down there sunbathing. That is towards Alcudia and the port, which is over that direction. Of course, as you know, I do love my paddling. That feels so refreshing. It's so hot today. Lovely, lot of people in swimming as well. And you can walk down to Acudia from here, possibly half an hour, give or take a little bit. And it's a lovely walk. So I've said on so many of my films to do with the beach, it doesn't matter how far you go out of the sea, you hardly ever go out of your depths. It's a nice thing about over here, I must admit. It's really so child friendly, the island is. So it's like, as I say, in all the other beaches here in Acudia, as it reaches all the way down to the port in Acudia, all the way out to Camp Pickford. This beach is actually 13 and a half kilometres long, 
I've done the walk several times in the winter, I like doing it with Snowy, but this time of year, apart from not being allowed to bring her on the beach, it is exceptionally hot for her. The temperatures in its must be in this late um, 20 stroke 30s, it is exceptionally hot today. As you can see by the amount of people that are actually in the sea enjoying themselves. It's just so nice to have a little paddle, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> looky, looky, people. That's when you tell summer's there, isn't it? Haven't seen any for so long, and suddenly two arrive. Summer has arrived. Put your lie low, haven't you? The children having a good time. Buckets and spades. Now this is definitely when I think of summer, what it should be here. This is what it should be, isn't it? Just people on the beach, having fun, playing with the water, playing with the sea, building sand castles. I do find played Muro is probably one of the biggest beaches. It comes all the way down here, there's still the beach, played Muro. And you get a little bit of heat, apart from the, the um, looky looky people, are trying to sell you anything and everything. It comes all the way down here. So up this road there, that is where we started our adventure this morning with the um, fishing hook. So really, I suppose this is the start or the finish of Play de Muro. Behind me, it's more or less where it starts Acudia and goes all the way down to the port. Don't forget the Facebook page, Lovely Life New Yorker. Take care of yourselves, I'm going for a paddle.